Hello everyone, how are you today? This is Mark. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. I'm shooting a video lesson at the moment. She's working in a bookstore in this period. The world is getting hotter with a global warming. They're always complaining about life. I'm going to the beach after this video. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about the present continues, so stay tuned. So we're going to talk about the present continues. Now, an important thing that I need to tell you, you need to know how to conjugate the verb to be. Why? Because it's the auxiliary verb for this tense. When do we use it? If you look at the timeline, we have the horizontal line, which represents past, then the vertical line represents now, and then we have the other part that represents future, is between the crossroads of both lines. So, it is happening right now or around now. But I'm going to explain that in just a second. Let's look at the three types of sentences first. So, for a positive sentence, we need the subject first, then we need the auxiliary, I said the verb to be, then we need the base of the verb plus ing form, plus an object, plus a time expression. For example, Tom is reading a book right now. Tom is reading a book right now. Now, for the same sentence, but in a negative form, we need the subject, then we need the auxiliary plus not, because it's negative, then we have the base of the verb plus the ing form of the verb, then we have the object, and then a time expression, if you like. Peter isn't reading a book right now. Then, for the same type of sentence, but in a, in a question, we need the WH question word, if there is. Then we need the auxiliary, to be. Then we need the subject. Then we need the base of the verb, plus the ING form, and then the time expression or the object. Is Peter reading a book right now? Okay, so the time expressions that we use with the present continuous at this moment or at the moment, now, this week, this year, this month, etc., nowadays, currently, presently, and these days. When do we use this tense? So I said we use it for actions happening at the moment of speaking or around the moment, the moment of, of speaking. I told you at the beginning, I'm shooting a video lesson at the moment. So I could ask you, what are you doing now? What are you doing now? And you might answer, I hope so, I'm watching your lesson on YouTube. I'm, so this is a positive sentence, I'm, I am, watching your lesson on YouTube right now. This is the first um, usage of the present continuous. The second usage is for situations that are temporary. For example, she's working in a bookstore in this period. So maybe in the past she worked somewhere else. In the future she's working uh, as a teacher, for example. So she's working in a bookstore in this period, temporary. Or they have a new job and so they say they are trying to do their best at their new job. They're trying to do their best at their new job because in the past they worked somewhere else 
And now, in this period, because it's temporary, they're trying to do their best at their new job. So I'm going to erase this and I'm going to show you three other ways in which to use the present continuous. So let me tell you that I've already talked about the present continuous, but with the present simple. If you wish to watch that lesson, you may click here. Now, going back to our lesson of the present continuous, we have the third point to indicate, so we use the present continuous to indicate trends, progress, or changes. For example, the world is getting hotter with the global warming. Is getting, is becoming hotter with the global warming. So this is a change, right? To get means become here. If you wish to watch a lesson on get, you may click here. The second example, demand for immigrants is increasing in Canada. So this is a change, right? Demand for immigrants is increasing. So they need immigrants in Canada. Now, the fourth point that um, we use the present continuous is to indicate that something is annoying. Here you need to use an agent of time, like always or forever. Like in my example, they are always complaining about life. Look at always. Where is it placed? Yes, it's between the auxiliary and the main verb, plus ing, so complaining. Or the other example, he is always chewing food. I'm sorry. He is forever chewing food with his mouth wide open. Forever right here is placed between the auxiliary and the main verb to chew, in this case, chewing. Chewing food means with his mouth wide open, like this. So the last point, and I would say a, a very important point for future plans. Obviously, you need to use an adjunct, like tomorrow, next week, after, just like my example. I'm going to the beach after this video. After this video, not right now, but after this video, I'm going to the beach. What are you doing after watching this video? You may leave your comments under the video. So now, let's recap. In this lesson, we took a look at the present continuous. Don't forget that it goes with the auxiliary to be plus the base of the verb plus ing. It is mainly used for actions happening right now or around now. But it is also used for future plans. Don't forget the adjuncts of time, like tomorrow, next week, next month, etc. It is also used for changes, progress, or trends. It is also used to indicate that something is annoying you. Don't forget to use the adjuncts uh, always and forever. Great, so that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I suggest you do. Next week, you'll get a new lesson. If you want to share the lesson, please do so. Have a great day and see you next week with a new lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.